appreciated you were both speaking about the deep importance of listening. And, and, and Charles, you were saying a moment ago that the call inevitably will happen and inevitably we will attend to it. It, it does happen, it's inevitable. A anything you'd like to share about uh, you know, listening skills uh, as these, as these uh, murmurings start coming from within our, our deep spiritual nature? Yeah. What can I say about that? It's sometimes hard for me to answer abstract questions because the, uh, the information that you're asking for is unique to the listener. Um, yes, I appreciate that. Yeah, I've even been, been uh, getting a little bit uh, fed up with being in the position where people ask me questions and I offer answers in like this public way, you know? Um, sometimes it works as with Ben, uh, being an avatar of like an actual being asking a question. The listening for a lot of people, it's actually a matter of tuning into something else because maybe you get habituated to listen to certain voices that drown out the quieter voice that, that you're talking about, the call. But you know, a lot of times when the call comes, it is so loud that you can only tune it out with great harm to yourself. It's obvious. So again, I would say, don't make this hard. The call, it, it, I could say also that it takes the form of something that you care about. And it makes you care so much that it's just a no brainer to put aside whatever else you thought was important. Because in this moment, it's just obvious what's important. And if you are not in that place, you can't force that to happen. It might just be that it is not calling right now. And if that's the case, then maybe you're in a preparatory stage. And that preparatory stage could even be the, the cultivation of skills that are not being yet used for their correct purpose, for their true purpose. Like you might be, I don't know, an artist and you're, or a musician and you're writing commercial jingles or you know, advertising images, or you're, you're using your gifts in service to something that actually you don't resonate with. You're not, you don't actually care about that. And maybe you're feeling like you're living somebody else's life. You're living a life you're paid to live, but what am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. That's because the call hasn't come. And so the preparation then is actually to refine your gifts and to, to do your best in every circumstance, because then you develop these powers these capacities that when the call comes, you're ready, you're powerful. 